In the last episode of the Blurred Syndicate Plays D&D, Team Bebe's kids had settled into the cheese-loving town of Quest and found themselves embroiled in a tale of mystery as they stumbled upon evidence suggesting someone in the town might be dabbling in the dark arts of necromancy. To complicate matters further, our heroes encountered Rudo's formidable older brother Marin outside the prestigious Café de From. Despite facing humiliation at the door, they managed to get inside and eavesdropped on the conversation between the elder Von Jeffershire and a familiar face, Alistair. Afterwards, the team decided to split up, determined to shadow Marin and Alistair in pursuit of more clues. As they embarked on their separate missions, the stakes soared and the fate of one of our heroes hung at the balance. Will Team Bebe's kids uncover the dark truth lurking behind Quetch's delightfully dairy-filled veneer? Can they save this town? Can they save themselves? The answers await in the next thrilling installment of The Blurred Syndicate Plays D&D. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to D&D with The Blurred Syndicate. I am your host, storyteller, the Dungeon Master, Brandon. And with us is our illustrious party. Say what's up, gentlemen. What up, gentlemen? What's going on? What up? Yes, we uh, have Leroy Death Shepherd in the building. No shirt, no cares. That's all I got. No shirt, no cares. And he got his squad with him. We got Priest <laughs> in the building. What's going on, man? What's going on? Uh, have to be here ready to um, whoop Mirror's ass. But yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready today. Just chill as ever. I like, I like the energy. I love the energy. And all, and as always, how can we forget about young Rudo Von Jeffershire? <laughs> <laughs> what up, y'all? Uh, hide your kids, hide your wife, because I'm probably gonna steal something from them. <laughs> <laughs> That's fact. That's fact. Rudo does steal from children. It is. It is. It does not matter. It is known. Rudo, I think we're gonna start with you. You saw Aldrich go down into the uh, down into the mausoleum. You stood up at the entrance. You were like something inside of you just told you, you know, probably should go down there by myself. So you turn around and head back. It's quiet. The moon's up at this point. Uh, all you hear is just the every now and you now and again you'll hear the squawk of a raven off in the distance. But other than that, it's just uh, the leaves crunching underneath your boots. You should kind of make your way back. See, coming here it was a little bit. You weren't really that. Uh, you didn't really question your surroundings much because you were all, all you were too focused on Aldrich, right? And staying hidden and being stealthy and stuff. But without without a particular goal in mind besides just heading back, the uh You're in a graveyard. Oh, snap. And we're dealing with the necromancer we did. At midnight. Uh... Rudo A a creeping fog is to roll across the ground, covering the leaves as you crunch through them. Just barely covering, coming up to about the middle of the headstones, you know? Uh -huh. It's thick as it rolls in. The wind begins to whistle through the trees a little bit. As it picks up. Uh, you realize you've been walking for a good little minute. But you're not back to gate yet. Uh, give me a uh, give me a survival check. Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten? <clears throat> Rudo, you pause. Kind of have a look around your surroundings. Now, there was a pathway when you came in. But with the fog as thick as it is on the ground, everything pretty more or less looks the same. Just, just the tops of headstones for as far as the eyes can see. Give me a perception check. Twenty-three, natural twenty, natural twenty. Woo, natural twenty. Let's go. All right, fire. Man. 
excellent roll. With a natural 20, you know for a fact you are not alone, Rudo. Uh. <laughs> um, okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crouch and look around for something to hide behind because I need to at least try to get out of their line of sight if they see me and try to see if I can see them. So they're headstones. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are a number of mausoleums around, right? Along with the headstones. I'd say you could crouch down and uh, your best bet would probably be, I, you, you, you could hide behind one of the mausoleums, but, but it's kind of difficult though, because even with a natural 20, you know that someone's there. You don't know where they are. Where they are. Yeah. But I'm, I'm still crouching down and I'm, I'm running behind a mausoleum as quickly as I can. Cause Give me a stealth check. Dead, stealth check. Fourteen. Okay, not bad. Fourteen, pretty good. All right, Rudo, you run and you hide behind this uh this mausoleum. Is your heart racing? One hundred percent it is. I know I'm not <laughs> alone, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> Rudo, you hear the crunching of leaves. Slow crunching. Deliberate. You know it's footsteps. Give me another perception check. Eighteen. Eighteen fire. Sounds like they're coming from behind, like on the other side of the mausoleum, not walking towards you. I'm going to peek around the corner to see if I can see anything. You see about 15 feet from you. You see a, a sh you see a man hmm. walking through the headstones. He, uh, he has a little bit of a limp as he walks, but he hasn't noticed you. Hmm. Um, I he need seems to be walking. He seems to be walking away towards, towards the, towards the entrance of the graveyard. Okay. Okay. Um, for now, I'm going to stay hidden and watch him walk. And I'm going to... I'm going to follow stealthily. Because I don't know what he's doing. Also, I'm lost in the graveyard. So if he's going toward what I think is the entrance, um, I need him to help me get up out of here anyway. Give me another stuff check. <clears throat> watch this. Let's go. 23. Oh, wow. Another, another natural 20 again? No, nah, not a nat 20. 18 plus uh, my five um, bonus. That is incredible. I'm going to I'm gonna roll for perception for him, but he's going to have to natural 20 just to beat you. You're nat 20. I can't make this shit up, my guy. Man, all right. <laughs> I'll, take a, I'll take a picture of it right now. Leave no, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> oh. They heard me. They heard it. You you walk and uh you It's one of those things where like there's a branch on the ground and you didn't see it, obviously, because the fog's rolling. Snap. Branch snaps. The uh the figure pauses. And Rudo. His head snaps around. I mean, snaps around. Like, he he looks up into the, he looks up into the air and begins to look around and his head twitches and jerks. 
and his arms and his arms come up and kind of a and he, and he crouches a little low. He was standing up straight before, just walking normally. He, he, he gets in like a feral kind of a position. And you begin to hear the crunching of leaves all around you. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. You hear raspy, throaty noises, <laughs> and the the crunching gets louder, faster, more deliberate, as whatever is in the graveyard begins running. The the man in front of you takes one careful step forward, looking around, and then another. You see him make another perception check. Oh, man. Oh, man. Rudo? Yeah. His eyes lock with yours. Oh, all right. Bet. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> Whatever, your eyes, lock, your, your eyes, your eyes lock with yours, and you, 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 you get a, you, you get a cold feeling in your chest. Cause you don't see any life behind those eyes, Rudo. Yeah. And he <sighs> launches himself at you. Roll initiative. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! I we knew it was gonna be like this, bro. We knew it was gonna be like this. Four. What you got? Four? Four on initiative? On initiative. I know oh, I'm going dude. last. <laughs> oh, Rudo. Rudo, Rudo, Rudo. He launches himself at you with no regard for his own body or physical well being. Nigga don't give a fuck. <laughs> he takes he takes two wild attacks as he comes. He he screams. <laughs> A raspy, dry, almost muted scream, and you kind of get a you, his face is illuminated in, in in the in the moonlight, and 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 you see those dead eyes. You also see rotting flesh. Oh, stupid and teeth missing. He has no tongue as he comes at you. You see his nails have. Grown, overgrown, and so so a couple of them are kind of gnarled and twisted up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he reaches and he reaches out at you and he swipes at you twice. That is an 18 and a 14. You want to look at your armor class? Okay, I'm a 16. A sixteen. Okay, awesome. So the eighteen hits, but the but the fourteen misses. Uh, yeah, he he, he, swig, he swigs at you and uh, he hits you one time. Uh, you take oh, okay, not that bad. Uh, you take seven points of damage as these gnarled as these gnarled uh, fingernails scratch you on the shoulder, and the uh, the other attack the other attack comes and it hit it uh, and he uh, swipes into the um swipes into the headstone and a couple of the nails actually break off. Hitting, uh, as, as they hit the stone um, and again you hear the crunching of leaves and footsteps as these as these ghouls begin to run all around you these zombies what are you doing? Uh, um I am going to attack him well first yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to attack, then move. Can I do that? Yeah, you can totally okay. do that. I'm going to attack first. I'm going to go and attack him with my rapier. Uh, how did you get your weapons? Oh, wait. I don't have my rapier, do I? Bet. Oh, I my knives are... My, I manifest my knives, so I can't... He's right. I can't attack with my rapier. Can I undo because that? Because no, we don't true, have but any you do, weapons. You do manifest your knives, though, so you always have those on you. What happened okay, to your rapier? Yeah. We don't have uh, any was, weapons. We went to the party. We went to the party and left all the weapons in the room. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, went to the park, left all the weapons. Dope, 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 dope. Okay, well, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. This might be a short game. I don't know. Rudo, what do you do, man? Uh, shoot, I attack with my knives instead, man. I know I, I can't right, attack with my rapier. Shoot. Come on, nat 20 plus 525 with the right hand okay. gold blade. Fire. You now I need to roll my damage, right? Yes, roll your damage. And describe how this looks, this natural 20. Hit. Hit me, right? Took it, ate it like a G. He missed his second hit. Missed. That's 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 his fault for that. Cause it's like, bro, if you gonna get me, you better gotta get me while you can. Manifest my gold blade. And it's like a it's kind of like one of those, like a I roll forward a little bit just for some extra momentum. And I jump up like, you know, like it's almost, it almost looks like an uppercut. And I kind of slice him from his uh, right thigh up diagonally to his um, left shoulder. And um, hit me a little, hit me a little flip and land behind him. Did him dirty. And I'm going to dash away from this guy. Because... <laughs> 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 it feels like it's about to be some more trouble around. I okay, yeah, good. I think as a rogue, as a since you're a rogue, as a bonus action, you can disengage. Hmm. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna disengage from my bonus action. For my bonus action, I'm gonna throw my other knife at him. <laughs> okay. Well, if, are you? Are you? What I'm saying is, are you trying to leave his area of combat though? Because you said you were gonna run. Oh, around. I did say dash away, didn't I? Nah, bump yeah, it, man. We're gonna, we dash gonna away, then he's gonna get an opportunity. No, nah, I'm not gonna dash away. Then I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my um, bonus action and attack it with my other uh, with my other psychic blade. Gotcha. Okay, uh, attack away. I got a 15. Does it hit? Fire. Yeah, absolutely. Fit. Now this one only does a D4, right? Uh no, it's still a D6 minus one though. So I do two points of damage. As a bonus action, uh, uh D4 plus three, homie. I was just going by what's on D&D Beyond. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Click on bonus action. And then under attack, oh. right? Yeah. No, well, that one was my, I can use the same one? You're, yeah, well, you're you're attacking with your strength. You can choose strength or dex, depending on how you build your character. But your dex is a plus three. Your strength is a minus one. You don't want to take the minus one. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, I see now. All right, so I need to hit that one then. Mm -hmm. Four, four points of damage. Four points of damage. Uh, four points of damage. That yeah, you kill it. Ah, sweet. Okay, eighteen. We can dig it. We can dig it. Let's go. Um, there you go. that was that wasn't cool. I ain't like having to fight this guy. That's not my style. Can I rummage through his pockets? I know he's dead, but. He might have some interesting things. He ain't gonna be using no more. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, for real, he's not gonna be using it no more. So, um, you know, did Rudo. my did my flash right thigh up to the left shoulder, right? You reached you out to up. start rummaging through his pockets, Rudo, and mm -hmm. three more zombies appeared. Start. Oh man, out. come on! <laughs> I told you that they they were running around. What did you think? You was did. Gonna you want to try too. to rob this guy, Rudo? You're a kleptomaniac. We need to talk <laughs> talk about something. Because <laughs> this is insane. You're in. A, you're in. A, you're, I'm, I'm. I'm describing zombies running around and shit. And he's like. Can I check his pockets though? That's, <laughs> that's all he heard. That's that's run all he heard. It, run it, run it, run it <laughs> pockets. Run it. Run it. I mean, he attacked me. Dog. He's a all zombie, right. bro. He don't he don't know better. I know he don't know better, but he's but right. you know better. Was all right. in his pockets. Three three zomb three zombies come out. Three zombies come out of the fog and 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 run to attack Ooh. you. We will pause there and move on to Leroy and Priest. While Rudo, you think about your actions. <laughs> All right, Leroy and Priest. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got something to help us out here. I'm trying to set the mood. Go for it. I love it. Leroy and Priest. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, that's what he says. Mirren turns around and looks at you. You know, he's in his he's in his very nice three piece suit. Um, 
you know, I suppose I suppose he doesn't have any weapons either. Going to this fancy establishment, right? Nope. So you all stand there in this alleyway. Um, he has his hands in his pockets and he looks at you very casually, you know. Alligator shoes, the whole nine. Says, uh, so, what does my kid brother's friends want with me? You guys looking to pick a fight or something? What is what is this this confrontation here? We're here to do a mission. The mission that we we're trying to find out what what you know. You're trying to find out what I know. Yeah. We saw you hand him the box or package or whatever it was. We just want to know what did you hand him. That's none of your concern. None. How's my brother doing, by the way? He uh he followed old buddy. The man that I met with. Yeah, I didn't stutter. Oh well, I suppose he survived worse. Hmm. Oh, hold on, what do you mean? What's going on, Mary? What what is what do you what do you and this guy that you met with have going on? What authority do you think you have to be questioning me? I am the authority. Answer the question. Well, in that case, I plead the fifth. And he turns and continues. Or, well, no, no, no. He stopped at a... He actually walks forward and attempts to walk past the both of you. Death Shepherds are not known for their patience. We just we're trying to figure this out to help this cheese town, and you're not making it difficult. You're making it difficult. Why? Why do you have to be an asshole? Is that just by by default? It's definitely by default. All right. He he, pa- he pauses at the uh, at the alley. First of all, he walks past both of you. Do either of you do anything when he walks past you? I want to try to pickpocket him. Okay. Uh, Give me a slide of hand check. Come on. I'm gonna um I I got a 10. I didn't do so well. He swats your hand away. He says This this suit jacket costs more than your entire wardrobe, sir. Please. Please. Bro, don't don't talk about this. I got dressed up. No shirt. But right here, this is alpaca underneath this. It makes my skin feel nice. Mm. So, so as he tries to walk past, I I, I give a, I, I, a a one of those good, you know, like a, one of those good shoulder bumps. Like, hey, bro, you you, you walking on the wrong way he bumps you back priest um give me a strength check here hey, the higher good. roll the higher roll will successfully bump the other <laughs> so do i do um i do i click strength just click strength um what do i hit it give um, me an athletics check Athletic? Uh, yeah. Where is it? Where is it? All right. Ooh. 25. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. 25? Let's go. Let's go. I rolled a two. I rolled a 16 plus five. I rolled a 21. Let's That's go. How close to, I, I was for sure you weren't going to beat me. That was great. Let's go. Let me. Put him on his ass, bro. Put him on his ass. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now. You're not gonna, you're not gonna put him on his ass. You did say you, you did say you gave him a good shove. Describe this good shove on him, cause you got him. As he was, as he tries to walk past, and I hit him with this, 
good, just just this what on with those good that good shoulder shrug to just kind of knocks him back and it makes him like oh and re- realize like oh, okay this he, this he got some power behind him like yeah, it, it just caught him off guard he wasn't expecting it like he wasn't he actually respect on my name <laughs> <laughs> he looks he looks down at his jacket and he and he brushes it off and he but he can't help but kind of smile a little bit and he goes huh so you must be the one who gets little Rudo out of all of his scraps, huh? Something like that. Hey, it's it's good that he has somebody to look out for him. But um, if you put your hands on me again, I'll have to put my hands on you. Sounds like a date. Let's go. <laughs> what did the date say? <laughs> What we, what oh, we doing? <laughs> you roll, roll initiative? Is that what we're doing? Look Let's next roll, to Army Glass and make you click the word initiative. I see it. All right. All right, let's go. Y'all wilder tonight. Y'all came for violence. To, yeah, y'all chose yeah. violence. Oh. I did, but I got a two. I got a damn you two. You got a two? Oh. Yes, I got a two. Uh, Leroy, are you rolling initiative, my guy? Because I mean, I can't let him. I can't. I ain't, ain't no bitch. I'm about to let him. All right, let's uh let me go ahead and find my initiative because I can't can't let you just fight yeah. him by himself. Now, Man. since this is going on, Leroy, you didn't know he was gonna attack. I'm gonna give Priest and uh Niren the first turn, and then you'll join initiative on the second turn, okay? Okay. All right, what'd you roll? Oh, you want me to roll initiative too? Yeah, yeah. you can go ahead and roll it now, and then we'll <laughs> I rolled two. As well. Two? See, but we oh Lord. Doing it too. So Don't worry about it. Be right. This is what happened because Mirren rolled a 24 for initiative. Mm. Okay. So here's so here's what happened. Okay. He said, if you touch me again, he said, if you put your hands on me again, I have to put my hands on you. Mm-hmm. You said, Okay, then it's a date. He won initiative. He moves so quickly. He appears next to you, priest, and you feel the very tip of a small blade on the front of your neck. Mom. That's right. That's right. Call for your mama. And he stands there. Cool. And he stands there. Leroy, you see this? Mira stands there, cool as hell. He's got his other hand in his pocket as he appears right next to Priest with the blade just ever so slightly in front of a, in front of your throat. He's a, one would say he's a smooth criminal. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I don't wanna get blood on my suit. But this is the only warning I'm going to give you. I get it. I get it. <laughs> You're too much of a pussy to fight me with your bare hands. <laughs> give me a... Uh... <laughs> Are you trying to are you trying to goad him or are you trying to intimidate him? What's the uh what's the move here? He's trying to lose his dick. Oh. He is. <laughs> and he and he very well might I'm look sorry. at the camera that came down. Oh bro. <laughs> my kids, man, my kids. Hold on one second. Let me fix this. I did up. not see that one coming. They said, Daddy, no. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh. Woo! Okay. Um. Oh. Yeah. Like I said, I, I need to um, know. How do you say this? Are you trying to intimidate him? Like, are you try, like, are you trying to put the fear of God in him when you say that? Or are you trying to like goad him into like, come on, bro? You know. Let's go. Let's, I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll. Um. I am going to roll intimidation. Go for it. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Roll high, let's go. buddy. Let's go. Good. <laughs> Wait, but it's you know what. I'm, you talking to me, 
You talking on your game, bro? I appreciate what it. You roll? These <laughs> dice ain't like a four. These <laughs> dice are not with me today, man. I hit the 25 inches. It's been downhill since that. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. He goes, you, 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 call, you call him a pussy. And... He got, he he he, ch- he chuckles to himself and he puts the blade away. And he says, "Uh, I'm sure our paths will cross again." He says, "Um, listen, when I'm not," he says, "when I'm not in such experience, when I'm not in my Sunday best," he said, "I'll be sure to teach you." A lesson on humility. You know what? You can go. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I have your permission. He, so he says it sarcastically. I say a good day, on, sir. The pair on you. The pair on you. <laughs> He turns around and he walks off. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, oh, he does call behind him though. He says, "Um, hey, if you are Rudo's uh bodyguards, you might want to go check on check on my brother." All right, we gotta go. Oh, now we gotta go. Now, and he, now we got, and he uh, walk walks on down the street. Okay, so I say we go back to the hotel real quick. Um, Gear up and go go towards where we we last had like mental things with. Uh, yeah, that was say we can't we can't contact him mentally. Let's. Uh... Let's get back to the hotel, grab our stuff, and let's go get them. Priest? You, you don't you. know how close you was to you. How many hit points do you have, Priest? Uh, I need to, 36. Hang on, let, me, let me see your character sheet. How? Because you was talking. You was talking a lot of shit, my boy. You, I, I was. You, good hey, sir. Had these, dice acted, had these dice acted right, you would caught these. He, was st- he he's still a level above us. So I don't give a damn. All right, so I'm gonna put it to you this way. So I uh, listened to um, Stardust so and see. Dragons, right? Yes. And, yeah. Oh, oh no, I, I will. Li- I, I got you the um the 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 um yes. the fight between uh uh, uh yeah the prince and the and, prince and his. The, and, and I'm gonna call her Nala. You know what I mean? That's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh that you you, bro, almost went to the upper room. You almost got to meet your Lord and Savior. <laughs> listen, listen to right me. now. L- listen to me. We would we I, look. I'd have took that chance. I had you. You had my back. I, I'd have took that chance. Like I was. My, I had I had a plan. Don't get me wrong. I was talking shit, but I had a plan. I was gonna cast shield of faith. I was gonna make sure you go ahead and berserk rage. I'm gonna I'm gonna go high. You go low. You tackle go for his waist. We going at it. We just hope we just gotta we just gotta make sure these dice work. If these dice work, we 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 ain't gotta we not trying to kill him. We just want to rough him up a little bit. That's all. That's all. That's all I was trying to do. Look, don't shake your head now. Before we end it, you was with it. Today you not I'm always I got your back no matter what, but we we were in a situation that we didn't need to be in, and yes. uh, and like we like us, I said, I listened to Stardust. We got, we got Shout some out information to, uh, out of the storyteller, uh, yes. thank because you, thank you. Stardust and Dragons is is definitely nope. when I when I we had finished. I'm gonna tell this and then we can go back to the story. But yeah, uh, we uh, I had we had ended right before that episode came out and like we were told like hey they are like a level above us i was like oh no we can't like he because he he wasn't he wasn't winning like if he would have died and i was like <laughs> we would have died 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Lyrax is level four. You guys are level three. And he was, uh, yeah, Achilles was giving him the work. That she was. That she was. But yeah. However, well, yeah. it was one of him. Shout out to uh, Stardust and Dragons. Shout uh, out look. to Stardust and Dragons. Now streaming everywhere. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify, um, Google Podcasts, uh, Audible, anywhere you listen to podcasts. Stardust and Dragons. It's a fantastic story. Check it out. Two level threes versus level four. Come on, come on. That's oh, six. No, no, no. That's six, what, man. That's funny because what no, makes you? What, make, what on earth makes you think that Mirren is only level four? Well, there you go. I, what what level is he? Can, any, any? I can't just tell you that. Okay. I can't just tell you that. No. Don't worry. I was, Don't I, worry. I, well, okay. I let me this level. What level do you think he is based off of that last yeah. encounter? To be honest with you, I'm probably thinking he's he's probably level five or level six. Yeah, he did a ghost step, bro. He did the step that they do on like. He did on a flash beach. step. He did a, yeah, he did, he did a flash, flash step, step bro. He did a flash yeah. step on you, and then yeah. I didn't even know he had a blade. You didn't know he had a blade. Which yeah, then, I didn't know he had a blade. <laughs> which which then on top of that makes everything even worse because then he's just dishonorable. He didn't even follow the rules. But that's, that's what right. I'm saying. That's why I say it. It's interesting that Rudo wasn't him. there. I Listen, we got some. Have Rudo been there. We got some information out of him. Whatever's going going. On, whatever, whatever is going on, whatever going on, or whatever he handed old old boy, it's got well, something got to do with what's going on in this town. You just got to figure it out. <laughs>